substance abuse recovery leading to academic success. Fox 12 investigates the expansion of recovery high schools in Oregon. Investigative reporter Adrian Thomas is live in studio today with more on this story. Sounds, well, sounds like a step in the right direction. Yeah, absolutely, Anna. Last year, Fox 12 investigates examined how Oregon state, law, state lawmakers set aside over $2.5 million to expand these kinds of schools across the state. Now, at the time, there was only one recovery high school in Oregon. Now, we're getting a look inside at the second recovery high school in the state located in northeast Portland and the impact it's already having. Rivercrest Academy opened in fall 2023 and has served about a dozen students this year. Located in Portland's Concordia neighborhood, the school's principal, Todd Nicholson, says Rivercrest serves and is funded by all eight school districts in Multnomah County. But there are plans for expansion thanks to new state funds. So we're in a process now of becoming one of the, the hopefully one of the designated recovery schools in Oregon. It's a bit of a competitive process and there's uh, the legislature has made it so there can be three schools open per biennium. Uh, and we're hoping to be one of those three schools for the next year. Funding is the result of House Bill 2767, which passed with bipartisan support in the state legislature in 2023. It sets aside $2.6 million to fund nine recovery high schools across Oregon over the next six years. Recovery high schools are fully accredited alternative high schools and combine regular academic instruction with substance abuse recovery counseling. Nicholson says these schools can be lifelines for students so they don't repeat the vicious addiction cycle. Students who get clean and sober, however they get clean and sober, whether it's through intensive outpatient programs or a residential treatment program, if they go back to their neighborhood high school, they have a 70 to 80 percent chance of relapsing in that first year. Most of those students relapse in the first four months. We met Rivercrest recovery mentor Sammy Greenfield a year ago when we highlighted Harmony Academy, Oregon's first recovery high school in Lake Oswego. Greenfield was part of its first graduating class. She's now paying it forward by helping other teens in recovery by leading daily recovery groups with Rivercrest students. They hear the story of somebody who got sober and they relate to it even just a little bit and they think like, oh, maybe I can do this. We also talk about maybe things that they do or don't get at home, like um, how to have healthy relationships or uh, relapse prevention. Two junior Rivercrest Academy students tell us their first year in a recovery high school has already had a positive impact. Rivercrest asked we conceal the student's identity for privacy reasons. What is it about the day-to-day -day here that is so helpful and, and beneficial for you both? Like a big part of it is the recovery groups that we have. So we start each morning off um, before we have any classes. We meet in this room. We just check in, um, maybe have like um, an intention we set for the day or like how we're feeling. And we just go around in a circle and share. It helps build a stronger sense of community. And I also really enjoy like how small the school is with like the number of kids. Cause I like really struggled with anxiety and being in a massive public high school with thousands of kids was probably like the worst place I could have been in. Students tell us it's the tight knit environment at Rivercrest that helps create the kind of camaraderie where everyone works together to support each other in their recovery journeys. I think it's also such a cool thing that we share common troubles and common interests. It really allows for like super unique kind of connection in schools like this or environments where you bring recovering addicts, people that are in recovery into a little space together and they get to know each other. There's a a lot more communication and openness than you're ever going to see anywhere else. And Sammy Greenfield, the recovery mentor we spoke with, says the one piece of advice she always gives students at Rivercrest or any teen who might be struggling is to not be afraid to ask for help and reach out to a trusted adult in their community, like a school counselor, to get more resources. Live in studio, Adrian Thomas, Fox 12 Oregon.